um, when I say get treated like shit, it's like disregard for your human rights, basically. You would say, you know, excuse me, corporal, can I blah, blah, shut up. Who are you? Why are you asking? No, you can't go to the toilet. Just shut up and wait. You get a toilet break in a minute. And they'd probably purposely just wait however long they needed to. And that's to legit. Them. That happens. Yeah. like, But that's like, um, you know, they do that in schools as well. Um, they used to back in the day, like, can I go to the toilet? No, you can't. You're an idiot. You're going to go out there and do something dumb. No. And you go, fuck, he knows. Like, he knows he's got the on the wall. Like, so it is, it is tough. Um, I think the, the difference between the army is that you're actually removed from civilization. You're now in a barracks. There's nowhere to run. You can't run to the fence and you can't get away. You're in Wagga. That's a long way from Newcastle. So the fact that it's serious and you're there weighs a lot on the experience. Mm. And it is an experience. So, yeah. What, what's difficult. like the hardest thing you'll go through there? It's just physical. You go from doing PT um, pretty much every day, you're doing something PT related. Yep. So you're doing, you know, you'll do a circuit or something with a lot of running, you get flogged around. Then the next day you wake up in the morning and you're presenting back again. And the PTIs who were there when I went through, um, just a sh state of panic. You just, you're shocked all the time. You're getting yelled at, they're like, yep, you didn't form up fast enough, run out around the goalpost, come back, and now you're like flushed, you're puffing. They what make would, you go and do something else. What would happen if you said, no, nah, I can't do it, I'm, I'm too tired? Ah, uh, you'd just get screamed at to the point where you'd get, no, you just would. I didn't see any, I only saw one person refuse to play the game. Yeah. Uh, he was a police officer. He was um, a constable. He would joined the army thinking it was going to be better. He got yelled at and he just stood there and went, nah. And they were like, if you don't move, I'm going to get you by your head and I'm going to fucking drag you down the hallway. And Does it get physical? No. Nah. So Does then it? he just went, no. Nah. So then they didn't, and he's like, right, that's it, you're getting charged. Okay, uh, whatever, charge me, I've got heaps of money. So then they charged him, and then they back squatted him, uh, which means I'll take him out of his platoon and then make, instead of being 12 weeks, it's now like two weeks later. So they've just cost him two weeks for being a smart ass, and now he goes back to day one and he's got to do day one stuff again. So then he learnt the game, went, okay, and then they were like, you can do this two ways. Um, yeah. And I've talked to him since he's been out. Um, he reconnected a few years ago and whatever. And I said to him, what ended up happening? And he just said, they won. Because they said, listen, mm. we've got you for four years. If you want to stay in Kapuka for four years, getting run around a rugby oval, getting made to do push-ups, getting screamed at, having your head shaved, <laughs> like routinely, if you want that dream to reoccur for four years and get paid like 15, uh, I think it's like $1,000 a fortnight, 500 bucks a week, fill your boots, brother, because we've got you for four years. Yeah, right. uh, and eventually he just went oh, okay shit um, and then he, so yeah it is tough do you do like a version of hell week like what they do with the navy seals yeah uh, kinda it's um what you'll do is you go out to do um, your field phase so you go and live in a field environment where uh, routinely there'd be like section attacks so you'd go and dig pits and you'd dig in so you'd make a defensive position um, they'd have enemy in the bush bang bang blank, blank rounds pretty much all night you would be running around firing it's very exhausting to play army is very exhausting. Um, a lot of crawling, a lot of up, yelling out target indications, down, crawling again, now you're buggered. You only have to do that two or three times and you're completely shagged. Um, mm. Then you're up, you're sweaty, you've got all your stuff on you, you're tired, you haven't slept. So they do that for about 24 hours. Then you have a massive stores carry, which is really heavy and really hard and you just pack marching and you're done, your feet are sore, your legs are sore, you haven't slept in now two days. Then they run you through the obstacle course and then the bayonet assault course where they make you get really aggressive and then they just destroy your life for a couple of days and then that's the, <laughs> the, the finishing culminator. So it's not really the same as hell week, but they'll put you through just non-stop stuff. Is there any sympathy at all? No. Just pure tough love? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like 10 years ago, it was worse than it is today. Because, um, yeah, like obviously there's a bit of softness creeping in the world. Does that affect the army at all? Absolutely, 100%. It is? It's really bad. Yeah. Yeah. In what ways? Uh, I'm pretty old no, like, school and I'm not... Pink head trannies running <laughs> yeah. PTs as well. Well, the, the easiest way to say it is I'm, I'm not super progressive because I grew up in an old family. Um, my grandfather's 90 something now, 96. Um, he was a lot of my influence. Old school, doesn't take well to new ways. We're getting new ways forced down our throats every day. Mm -hmm. You have to come and learn about this and be okay with it or you're out. And you're like, well, I'm out then because you can't make me be okay with that. Um, and I refused to go to that, that seminar to make me on board with those people and what that's up and I'm not doing it. Um, and if you're not prepared to do it, you're the outcast. So now you're like borrowed time. Like, that's cool. And then the threats go away and they learn that they can't actually sack you for that because that would be a bigger headline. 
Um, and then there's just mm. a barrier between the new and then the old. 